Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Computer Shaman. In my last video, I showed you guys how to set up Kodi to be remote controlled by an external device. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to set up your phone to act as that remote control. Start by downloading an app for your phone that will allow you to control Kodi. I have downloaded my favorite one, which happens to be Yahtzee. There's also an official XBMC remote out there, as well as a few other remotes. Out of them all, this is my favorite. So this is how to set up Yahtzee. Open Yahtzee. And at the beginning, it's gonna ask you if you want to uh, quick setup, which would be restoring from the cloud or an external save. Um, we are going to do manual setup, so I'm going to skip this. It's going to try and automatically detect a Kodi or XBMC host. It will probably not find it. That is correct. So it did not find it, which is good because we still want to do this manually so you can get used to this process. So we're going to hit next. And here it's going to ask you for the information of the host. That would include the host ID, uh, sorry, the, the host IP, and the port that your configuration is using. In our case, we left it the default port of 80, but the issue here is we don't know what our IP address is. So from Kodi, from the main menu, we are going to go over to the system settings. And we're gonna go over here to system info. Hop into that, and right there is the second line in this window. It shows us that our IP address is 10.0.0.6. I know, my phone is always dead. I never leave it charged because I'm just lazy like that. So now that we have our IP address, we're going to plug it in to the wizard on Yahtzee, 10.0.0.6, and port. The default port is 80, but if we don't know and we want to go to Kodi and figure out what that information is, we're going to back up to the main menu. We're going to go back to system. We're going to go to services. Look at that, it's already there. We're going to go to web server. We have previously allowed control and we're using port 80. So on the phone, I'm going to type in port 80 and add host. At this point, it realizes, oh no, there is a username and password on this installation. I've left the default username Cody, and for this tutorial, I've made the password Cody as well. So we'll move to the phone. Login name is Cody. The password is also Cody. Add host. Again, it's going to run its tests both of which are successful. Congratulations, you have added your Kodi. Finish. And here's your remote control. At this point, you can use the left and right arrows, up and down arrows, etc, etc. The back button, that'll bring you back, just like the backspace key on your keyboard. Let's go left to movies. Enter. I'll move down. Now let's play Astro Boy. And there you go, there's Astro Boy. You can hit uh, stop. Actually, let's go pause, play, next chapter, next chapter, stop. Okay, now on top of being able to navigate as if you had a keyboard and mouse in front of you, you also have the option of navigating your library from your phone. So if we hit the menu button up here, it brings up the menu. And if you hold, notice if you look at these, the movies, TV shows, and music are all empty. It says you have nothing in there. That's because we haven't synchronized that library yet with the Yahtzee app. To synchronize your library, just go ahead and hold it. And it started a synchronization of the library. I have 189 movies. I'm going to jump in. And there's my library. Let's go to one of my favorites. My neighbor Totoro. Tap that, it gives you information about it, aspect ratio, resolution, video codec, audio codec, etc. Cast, all that good stuff. Even shows you a trailer, that's pretty cool. And down here is your play button. We'll hit play. And look at that, it immediately queued up on the screen for me. So that means I can sit in bed, I can choose a movie from my phone, I can look at all the information from my phone. I can have some friends over, jump into the bathroom, and creepily pause and change their movies on them, and they'll wonder what the heck's going on. 
you get the idea. You can control your library from anywhere within your network as long as you have Wi-Fi access. From here I'm going to hit the main menu again. At the bottom left here is the now playing section. If you tap that it'll bring you to information about what is currently playing. You can swipe between screens. The left is the remote. Swipe back right, that's information again. You've also got a scrubber here. You can scrub in the movie. Slide over one more and it will show you your queue or your playlist. We have no playlist right now, so there's nothing in there. You can change uh, subtitles, English subtitles. Oh, there you go, okay. Any second, there we go. <laughs> so there's subtitles, we'll turn those off. And you've got different languages, um, but you can't hear it at the moment, but you can change your audio language. You do all sorts of stuff from here. Pretty much anything you can do from XVMC, you can do from the remote control app. Uh, that's it, guys. Pretty simple. And um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover, just let me know. See you guys.